who can forget the slime on Double Dare. And Double Dare, by the way, had 30 gallons of slime on hand for every show. That's insane. Wow. So, Mark, you were slimed thousands, or you slimed rather, thousands of people, thousands of people over the years. Yep. But we wanted to ask you about one in particular. Do you remember this one? Oh, what? I have a question. Uh, any particular reason for the uh, poncho there? It's because I don't trust you or the show. <laughs> I see. Is there going to be another E.T. movie? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's... Uh... <laughs> Um, it was the opening of Universal Studios, and uh, he was nice enough to come over uh, because Nickelodeon opened at the same time. And I said, what does it feel like? And he said, it felt like my son threw up on me, is what his response was. <laughs> uh, nicest man in the world, by the way. And uh, yeah, so that was a heck of a lot of fun. Was he okay with that? He looked like he, he was, was. He was more than okay with oh, it. Oh, good. Yeah. That's he okay. slimed Spielberg. I yeah. know. What was, I did ask you this in the break, but share with everyone, what I've always wanted to know what the slime was made of. Well, back in the day, it was, uh, applesauce was the base. Oh. And then we would put in uh, a little oatmeal and some green food coloring uh, and vanilla pudding. That Yum. was basically. I would have eaten that. Because it had to be edible, according to the insurance people, in, in, in case the kids got it in their mouth. So when we brought Double Dare back right before uh, COVID, uh, it's a whole different thing now. They have a company that makes slime get out of here. exclusively <coughs> for oh Nickelodeon. And wow. we went and spent a day, because I was producing the show as well, to get the proper, ready, viscosity. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so it's, it, it, does it run too much? Is it too heavy? Is it too thin? Oh, and it's not edible anymore either, so it's a whole different uh, consistency. Ooh, yeah, I like the fun. applesauce. I like the applesauce yeah, version. Yeah, that and vanilla pudding. I mean, how bad is that? Not at all. Yeah. Sounds great. Have you ever met anybody that was like, I was on the show and you slimed me? Oh, Is yeah. Really? Yeah, That's it comes up a lot. The thing that drives me nuts, not long ago, I was at a restaurant and a guy comes up to me and goes, Hey, Mark Summers. <laughs> Remember me? No. And I said, no. He goes, <laughs> say a bully well, from I high was school? on Double Dare. And I said, oh, okay, well, did you have fun? He goes, yeah, but I, I can't believe you, you don't remember me. And I said, uh, what year was it? He said, 1988. I said, okay, 1988. I was 36. What were you, 11? And now you're what, 38? I'm supposed to remember? You know, so people get kind of funny. But, you know, and when I walk down the street in New York, I get, hey, hey, Nickelodeon guy, hey, Food Network guy. But my favorite was, last time I was there, hey, Mark Summers, you suck. So, <laughs> That's New, York. <laughs> That's New York. Totally. So you got a lot of crazy double dare stories, but was there one thing? Apparently, one thing got you laughing harder than anything. So we put together a little video. Oh yeah. Of uh, let's take a look. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh look at this. We have a little person here who is rowing, trying to get through these little monster islands. There. Look at him. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Here he is again, folks. <laughs> Trying to get out of there. <laughs> with this. Are you all right, Mark? Okay. Well, the <laughs> There's a guy with the boat. Get across, grab the flag, do it in 60 seconds or less. <laughs> <laughs> I have an amazing. explanation for that. Okay. <laughs> so we used to shoot six shows a day, five days a week. Oh, man. Okay, so it was 30 shows. We would do three upfront games and then three obstacle courses, go to lunch and do three upfronts and three obstacle courses. Well, half the time, I didn't know what planet I was on from, from doing that. And at the same time, I was doing a show in Los Angeles called Couch Potatoes. So Monday through Friday, I was in Philadelphia or New York, depending where we were shooting, doing 30 shows, got on a plane Friday night, flew to LA, did five Couch Potatoes Saturday, five Sunday, oh took a red eye back to Philadelphia, got in at five in the morning, they let me sleep a few hours, and I'd go do it again. So I just got kind of goofy after a while. Yeah, you're punch drunk. Yeah, yeah, I really was. Yeah, so yeah. that's the only explanation, but I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's get to another one of your shows. Uh -oh. uh, your iconic show, the Food Network uh -oh. show, Unwrapped. You yeah, filmed more than 300 episodes. But is one candy well, taping man, more memorable than the other? Which stands out? Well, you know, I tried not to eat the food because we did a, a lot of candy and, and you could gain a lot of weight. Oh, yeah. Um, when we were doing a, a segment on something called Cowgirl Chocolates, and the producers came to me and said, no matter what you do, do not eat them because they have, I think it was either uh, habanero peppers or oh. ghost peppers in them. Ooh, and they said, under no circumstances do you eat these. So I figured, well, how bad could it possibly be? Yes. Mark. Oh, the last so one. reverse Mark. psychology. Yes. Yeah. So I ate one, uh -oh. and we were shut down for like 45 minutes because I couldn't breathe. Yeah. You know? We did milk, we did bread, we did everything. I was like, oh, it's coming up today. <laughs> You know, it took a while for me to come down. For it. So if they tell you don't do it, I think you should probably, you know. We actually have one of those candy bars here. We're going to have you. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't dare ready. you to take yeah. one. You know? Dang. I would have done the same though. He said like the you best gig. I, uh, the best. Yeah, I've never worked a day in my life. It's been insane. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Lovely.